Hey there, gearheads. Ricky Ray here. Chump, uh, Chuck couldn't be here. He's working on his Camaro. Good place for it. We're at the Portland Roaster Show. It's the 60th anniversary. And we're running our rears off. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, motor men and women. There's a little something here for you. running car shows in the nation for 60 years now. 60 years now. What do you think of that, Tater Chips? We got some of the Hall of Fame cars here from years back. This is where you're going to get your drink on in the Portland area. You heads. Portland International Raceway. For Wednesday night, all throughout the summer, a thousand hot rods, live bands, racket racing, cup guys. Fancy drinks, dancing. You got it in the summer. They're telling me it's one of the biggest weekend cruises anywhere in the West. Man, what are they putting in the drinks in this show? Kyron Horvath, they have never found him. They know what happened, but they just can't prove it.
call it you need to narrate it. Go some more talk. Go some more talk. This is badass. I want to know I want to know how much. I think I want to buy this one. It's just badass. Is it badass? It's pretty bad. Yeah, Chivers, basically California. Rodden and Racing Newspaper. Missing in America Project is a group that looks for veterans. These guys search out the unclaimed cremated remains of veterans going back over a hundred years. If not, get them buried at a VA cemetery. That's the real short synopsis of it. We started in Oregon. We're in 40 states now. We pay all our own expenses. And group like the Pharaoh's Street Riders behind us here help us raise funds to pay for it because it costs about fifty dollars a veteran. They are. Uh, everyone we find, we have to run a newspaper ad. Say, It's expensive, plus we have to have liability insurance to even be in a funeral home. And that's a lot. I appreciate you sharing this with us. We'll get it out to the gearheads. Perfect. All right. All right, look at the band. And you see, pro touring. Check out that. Business office, tater chips. And look what we got under the hood. Oh, yeah. I like that floor. It's right underneath that cow. Say about that. Nice car, guys. Looks like a badass pro touring Camaro. Is it badass? Gearheads? And another badass Chevy here. Is it bad? But is it badass enough? What about this one? Tater tubers? Car shows can be a lot of work. Tater chips. Tubers? Horsepower hounds. Alrighty, horsepower hounds. Looks like something bad here. But is it badass enough? Punish me. Oh yeah. Punish me. This one will make you suicidal. Yow. Check out that blower. Damn. That's a badass blower there. Holy chips. It's a big ass blower. This here is Candy Apple. Is it badass? Is this bad enough? This wild wagon is plum crazy. Cruising magazine. Serves the West. Yes, Rich Patterson. Rich Patterson. Right on. Can you say hi to the gearheads? Gearheads. Hi, you doing? Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich.
Can you can dig it? It's blown and looking pretty bad. It's a Ford and it's looking bad. Wait, what? What happened to that guy's wheel? Yow! <laughs> this Nova is bad. All Novas are bad. A big tour. With a big, big, big boys. Gearheads right around in this bad boy. Who's going to win NASCAR this weekend? Will it be Batman or Superman? This vet's a flyer. This one does. And we can tell you that for sure, ladies and gents. Built and built at Colt and Custom Rods. It's a 71. This vet flies. Autumn leaves. This one is psychedelic, man. Wait, what? Something looking bad. It's the 669. Six, Yow! Got that Pro Mod Outlaw Street Racer look going on. Could it be a challenger for the 405 list? Maybe one day. Alright, gearhead, we got Johnny Limbo and the Lutnuts. Barbara Cecil. One of these couples is going to split 500 clams. Dance contest winners. It will be a good night for them. It will be a good night for them.
Okay. Probably a gas motion style. That says it right there. It's a bad boy, super tubers. Looks like we're in Camaro country. And that's a bad place to be. boys and girls. All right, gearheads and gearheadettes. All the ballots are in, and it looks like it's the 669. We like badass, we like outlaw, we like pro mod, and we like street plates. And another thing we like is the salmon plate. Only in Oregon. We dig it. So there you have it, the winner of most badass car in the Portland Roadster Show 2016. Yep. Gearheads so World's so Choice. That's all, folks. Yow!